looking through my window, that cat, I don't know if you can see it, on the top, it has been hanging out all day. It was just down on the bottom a few minutes ago, down over here. And then when I got home, I ran to get gas earlier and it was over on the other side. And I just have to think, what does it want? Does it want to eat the bunnies? Does it want to just hang out with the bunnies? Interesting. I don't think I'm gonna let him try to find out what he wants to do. Oh, why are you running away, Jax? He says they're boring. I'm out. Hello, ladies! Hi. On a normal day, the girls arrive at 3.30 in the afternoon. Let's note the time. The time is 12.16. So are you sloughing? You skipping school? Did you run yeah, away? We, took the, we ran away on the bus. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> That's when. No, they it's supposed to snow the rest of the day, so they canceled it. Future possibly freezing rain or something like that. Yeah. So, so yeah. conditions are supposed to be really bad. Sorry, it's snowing outside a little bit. Yeah. Oh, is it already snowing? Yeah. yeah. It sounds really cool. It's like hitting the leaves and stuff. Don't! You've already scared me this month. You're not allowed to do it again. When did he scare you this month? It's a new month. Yesterday! Oh, okay. Yeah, you did. I... You said you didn't Yeah, you but you me. tried scaring me. Yes, Sorry. Me, Missy bro. has this thing that she thinks Sam can only scare her once a month. No, we and made Sam that rule. Sam has this thing that he's a turd basket he and he likes to cause problems. I told him to get dressed. You see what he went and put on? What was he wearing before? Oh, he had on shorts and stuff, but they were yesterday's clothes, so I told him to get dressed. Oh, my. Yeah. So you found out in second hour. Yes. yes. And I was like, we got a text, and we're getting out of 11.45. <laughs> my, 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 uh, my teacher, she, she was like, I was just over here checking the watch, and anyway, uh, no, she didn't say that yet. Anyway, she's like, so do you guys want the good news or the bad news? And one girl's like, the good news? She's like, well, you're getting out of 11.45. And everyone's like, what? Like, I'm like, what's the bad news? And she says, there isn't any. I was just messing with you guys. <laughs> so she says she's just checking her watch and like, oh, would you, look at, would you look at that? We're getting out early. And before we went to third hour, before they told us to go to third hour, we squished everything. Anyway, before she told us, um, they were explaining how everything was and we were just barely talking about how we did not know what we were going to do. We're just going to do it. The teachers are probably going to tell us that it was funny. That's, That's awesome. Well, I was pretty excited when I got the text. I was like, oh, so, I, didn't, I didn't even check or, check your guy, what you guys said were texting about. So. I know, and you're we like, we had a group text going on, and then Missy's like, hey, we're getting out early. I'm like, oh, really? Oh, really? I had no idea. <laughs> even though we've been texting about it already for a little bit. Uh, I'm not allowed to have, we're not allowed to have our phones out, so. Well, I know. I was hurrying and texting. Was, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it was just funny. Um, so we've already eaten lunch, and I usually don't eat lunch until about like now. So you guys just, already ate lunch? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They, they can't call it a whole a full school day until we eat lunch. <laughs> so even if they eat lunch two hours early, they can still yeah, call it. A there school were there day. were kids eating lunch really early because like, we count oh minutes. I wasn't not even days. hungry yet. Yeah. I usually eat. I usually they get out that, at Sam. twelve. Twelve. I usually get out at eleven fifty nine, and then we then we go to lunch. And then 12.21, like 30 seconds into 12.21, we leave to go to 5th hour. And so, it's 12.22 now, I would be just barely getting out of lunch. Yeah. Awesome. So. Well, good. good. I wonder if they'll close school tomorrow, too. My government teacher said no, however, That's... my English teacher said yes. And the bus driver is really said, hoping. He said, <laughs> he says, pray for, pray for a snow day tomorrow. Wait, he you didn't say that. Yeah, you did. Oh, you weren't said there, that. I guess. He said that You weren't Friday. there. Well, he said that. Okay. That's, never mind. Do you hear everything that the guy says? Everything? Well, yeah. he, he talks to us before we go pick her up, so that oh, makes okay. sense. He says, let's let's hope that there's no, that, that we have a snow day tomorrow, too, because yeah. if we get freezing rain, I feel like the rain, just, the rain isn't going to melt immediately, so. The rain doesn't melt yet, that's rough. Ice won't melt. Yeah, hopefully Dad gets home okay. Yeah. He went in way early, so he should be home in a couple hours. Okay, awesome. good. 
So, we're good. Welcome home. It's starting. So come on, Sophie, inside. No, come on. She's, she just ate the snow. Oh my gosh. No, Sophie, I come on. It. I want to feel it. Sophie, come on. Good girl. Ah. Oh, Sophie, so, great. You know, it has been two years since we lost Kenai. I know, I know. Two I know. years since we lost this obnoxious boy. I can't. That makes my heart hurt a little bit. I know. <laughs> <sighs> I loved and hated him too. Two years. It's gone fast. And I never thought we'd be in Missouri two years ago. <laughs> I know. Ken I would have loved it here, honestly. He would have, but he would have he would have been a problem because yeah. he liked to wander and roam. And um the, it would have been a problem. But I'm really grateful for our wind chime that we have. A beautiful friend gave that to us right after his passing and it has been it's been a treasure to have. So I'm glad we could at least I feel like we kind of brought a part of him with us through that. So <laughs> Wow, our tree is still green. <laughs> it's because it, they paint them. Huh? So crazy. It's still alive. So, <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. It's still alive. Ah, trying to shove this as full as I can. So I don't have to come back out later. <laughs> this will probably last until, oh, right before bed. We'll have to refill it. <laughs> Oh, those are some hot clothes. Yes. I don't want to smell like smoke. Sure. Well, there we go. Beautiful. Why can't rabbits just be content with the beautiful home that we give them instead of trying to dig out all the time? I know. So I don't know how we're going to stop this. But they're trying to dig out and everything's kind of getting frozen and gross and hi Harriet. Hi. Okay. Now poke me with the stick. Sorry. Okay, we've filled okay, great. the nesting boxes out here. There's Jax. He is so funny. He's been standing out here staring at the rabbits all day. Um, okay. Mission today is Operation Collapse the Burrow. And I'm not real happy about it. But we don't want to continue to let them to dig in the ground until we get the colony fixed the way we need to fix it so the burrows don't blood. Blood? Blood. Flood. I don't even know if the ground is gonna be. It's too hard. We're gonna see. Oh, Carrot has been working very hard at, ah, at cleaning out this burrow. Yeah. <laughs> I think that, yeah, unless we had a chisel, sledgehammer, there's no way we're going to do Shove that pipe down in there. No, she's going to, she's going to kindle in here, and, I mean, we're not in the rainy season. We're in the snow yeah. season. We're in the snow season, so hopefully, we can just hope in the next two to three weeks that we won't get any rain. Well, that's all we can do, right? I, yeah. The ground's too hard. We've waited too long. I was going to collapse it last week, and I just didn't. So that's what I get for being a lazy farmer. Now we'll just really hope and pray that all will go well. All right. I don't know what to do for this. What you, Any suggestions, ladies, what? to make them not dig through there? Um... I mean, I don't sure. know how much more that you can do for that. I mean, unless we get more rocks. Ah, there just really isn't. We we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Are yeah. we done? I think so. I hope I'm so. so cold. I'm it is freezing. so cold. Like, we haven't even done that much out here. We've been out here for, what, 10 minutes? And that's probably why we're cold, because we haven't done anything. My fingers are starting to turn I don't red. think she'll be able to collapse the burrow, so it's possible there's babies in there already. Not collapse it, but you know they plug it. Yeah. When they've mm -hmm. had their babies. Yep. So. Plug it up with. But some. she's so cute. She's been working really hard to get it cleaned out and nice. So. Hey, well let's just make sure everything's good in the shed. Oh, you got it. 
She's gotten bigger, mm -hmm. yes, I think. Definitely. And her little belly's pooching out. Do you think she's priggers? Maybe. She's may she might be pregnante. Pregnante. Oh, can we go inside now? Yeah, it's cold. Oh, she's so warm. Is she? I know. The other day like it was like cut. really, really, really cold. And I looked in our rabbit cam, and they're all just out here hanging out. They just don't seem to be bothered much by the cold. Oh, she's peeing. Yeah. Oh. I thought you were talking about Harriet for a minute. I was like, oh no, Emma. <laughs> she's like offended. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, you look pretty good. Looking old. <laughs> uh, she sniffs my hand and goes back in the shed. It's like, um... No. All of them were hanging out, all the females yesterday, so I think Harriet's finding her place. Good. Harriet? Mama still here. Living hates free her. and in yeah. the wild. Harriet, Just kidding, no. Living free in our colony. I miss Belle. Yes, she was such a good she mom. She was a good mom. It looks like snow globe snow. I said it looked like hail earlier. It still does, it feels like hail. It doesn't look like it's snowing, but it is. One more thing. I think Jack's just scared her. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty snowy. Let's it's go. Beautiful, it is beautiful, but I don't want to be out here. The low the low this week is supposed to be negative nine. Negative nine? Uh -huh. I thought it was negative four. No. Um Thursday I believe is supposed to be negative nine. Which is cold. Yeah, it's freezing. Okay. Come here, baby. <laughs> I know, oh, how cute. That is adorable. I know, baby. My cold hands. I know, it's warm and it's warming me up. Oh my gosh, mm. how fun is that? It's not you warming special. me up at all because I'm touching his head. You but... special <gasps> rabbit. Whoa. How fun. They're getting so big. I wonder where the other one is. How fun. Washed underneath your feet. Yeah. They've abandoned the nest. Here you go. Up to in here. Oh hope. my gosh. What? That's like a chunk of hair with skin. Gross. So either, either Harriet or Lincoln. I yeah. found the other baby. Where? In the water. Oh. They're both snuggled together. Oh. Mm -hmm. Does the other one look good? I mean, I can't see it. It's oh. in shadow. I've needed this for several days now. Really? Yes. I've noticed it out here. I just didn't say anything. Oh, yep. It looks really good. Ow, ow. How fun. Any nesting in this? Nope. It's probably a waste having it in here, but oh well. I need to look at the calendar and find out how old those babies are so we can consider moving Mama and the babies out. We really should because I don't want Mama rebred. Um, but. Based on observing their behavior, she is not accepting a reading from Lincoln, so I just hate to remove them in such yucky weather. But I hate to risk her being rebred too. Dang it! Playing the god to animals is... It's a lot of work. Good girl! Sophie had the privilege of having a bath yesterday. She, the only thing I can think of is that she snuck in to the pepperoni. We have a tradition on Sundays that we have, right after church we come home and have Sunday nachos. And so Jonah decided to Pepperoni. spice things up it was really good. and added pepperoni to the nachos and I think Sophie got a hold of some she's been a sneaky sneaky little turd lately huh? um, but she um, in a house full of hardwood floor she comes to my white rug to profusely barf twice she tossed the cookies all over it tossed the pepperonis that's the only thing I can think of is that it was the pepperonis and so she 
you know, we cleaned that up and then she went and laid out in her kennel and then she decided to puke all over her kennel and herself. So she had the privilege of being groomed yesterday. She got a bath, she got brushed, you know, did a little bit of that. And she looks and smells much better. And <laughs> she's just kind of hyper and happy. I'm thankful for activated charcoal. I believe that's something every household should have on hand. I have a big bag of powder and then I put it in capsules by myself. I have a pill maker. Um, but you can buy capsules, but it is the perfect thing if you're having stomach problems, stomach ache, food poisoning, anything like that. It's like magic. So if you don't have activated charcoal, you need to get some because she hasn't had any issues since. It, it was like magic. Anyway, so we put that in some yogurt and she gobbled it right up. This is weird snow. It's like not snow. Come on, let's go inside. Let's go inside. These temperatures are definitely temperatures that we are used to seeing in Idaho, but I mean, it's February, so it can't last too much longer, right? Whereas in Idaho, it's like months and months and 